up, Hero Family, and welcome to a very special episode. Special because we have my family in front of us. Hi. That right there is my sister, Hi. my mom, and my little brother, TJ. What's up? In front of them, we have a very special 3D printer by Creality. This is the Ender 5 S1, an absolute beast of a machine. Wow. <laughs> I was hella fake, <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for joining us, guys. Today, we have two options on what to build. It is either the ship or a rabbit as our first build. So since we are a democracy and not a dictatorship, we're going to go with the voting system. What would you like to vote for? A rabbit. What would a you ship? like to vote for? A ship. Mm -hmm. All right. And I will go for a rabbit. And since it is 2-2, two -two, we have to decide this with a ball game. Best team to three wins. wins. Yes, sir. Let's go hooping. The time, the time, the time is now. Team Ship versus Team Rabbit. All right, guys. Best out of three, let's go. Mark, take a shot. Oh, it's late. Okay, go. Step on goal. Let's go. 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 Let's
All right, let's get into the specs, shall we? It wouldn't be a tech review without them. The Ender 5 S1 has a build volume of 350 times 350 times 400 millimeters. The 4.3 inch color display is amazing in terms of its responsiveness. But the one thing that irks a lot of people is the sound that comes out of it. Yes, it does indicate that you have touched a specific button, but if you are doing night builds, it could get a bit irritating, and maybe even throughout the day if you're a person who just likes silence. It has something called a mean well power supply, which essentially means that the power supply is highly reliable. Fantastic for overnight builds because you know that it's not going to cut on you. It prints out at a speed of 150 millimeters, which is incredibly fast compared to other printers in its class. So what happens when the power cuts? The fantastic part about this printer is it has a resume printing function, which essentially means that if the power cuts and it comes back, you can resume your print from where it stopped. The first build was absolutely fantastic. There are a few leveling issues that I need to fix, which I got wrong at the beginning. Can we also talk about how difficult it is to clean the surface it prints on? Like, I hope that Creality replaces the surface because it is not great. Straight out of the box, I would say that this is one of the most well-packed products I have ever unboxed. It comes with a beautifully detailed video tutorial on how to actually build the printer and on top of that, how to actually start to print. Now that I've started this 3D printing journey, I think my goal is to find a way to print the most elaborate prints. How far can I actually push this machine? So far, I've seen some amazingly elaborate prints and all of these prints that I've seen have come straight out of the Endo 5 S1. I'm someone who really enjoys the details of things and I will study something until I can do it. So watch out, I'm about to make the most incredible and elaborate prints. But for now, I just want to say welcome to the 3D printing world. In the description of this video, I have placed some links where you can purchase this product for great prices. You can never go wrong with saving a little bit of money.